Meredith Gorman here in the PNC Bank Sports Corner with some big news for the Patriots because another huge blow to the secondary with NFL Network reporting that John Jones is set to miss the rest of the season as he undergoes shoulder surgery on Monday. Now Jones is already on injured reserve, but this is now a reality that he'll miss the rest of the season with the Patriots. And now I have our Patriots beat writer Zach Cox joining me now to talk about this situation a little bit more. Now Zach, Stefan Gilmore is gone. Now we have this new development. So how does this make you see the whole Gilmore trade differently? Yeah, this is just another blow to a, a position group that has really looked thin all season. Uh, I thought the, the Gilmore trade was a mistake at the time just because it, it put the Patriots in, in such a bind where if they had any injury to any of their three starters, J.C. Jackson, Jalen Mills, and John Jones, then you're really, really getting toward the bottom of the depth, that depth chart. And now they're faced with that exact situation with John Jones, as you mentioned, being out for the rest of the regular season. They've got some pieces that they can plug in there, uh, but I think this is a situation where the Patriots are going to have to go out and make some sort of move, whether that's signing somebody in free agency, they, they brought a couple cornerbacks in for workouts last week, uh, or going out and making some sort of a trade before the NFL trade deadline, because with the current group that they have now, I, I just don't think it's deep enough to make it through the rest of the regular season. So do any particular players stand out to you that would make sense to help out in the secondary ahead of the trade deadline in early November? I mean, Kyle Fuller has been a guy who, who's been rumored uh, rumored as a trade candidate, mentioned as a potential target for the Patriots. Uh, I don't really love that move. I just think he's a little bit too expensive. Uh, he, he had a $9 million salary this year. Uh, it would be something like $5.5 million over the rest of the se- for the rest of the season if the Patriots brought him in this week. Uh, he, he lost his starting job in Denver. I, I just think he's kind of past his prime, and, and that's a lot to be paying for a player like that. Uh, especially since the Patriots just cut ties with Stefan Gilmore reportedly for financial reasons. Uh, I think you you're more likely to see a, a kind of lower level uh, free agent signing or trade. Uh, like some of the players they brought in last week, it was Brian Poole, uh, DJ Hayden, Devonte Bowsby. Uh, I think you're more likely to see someone on that level to, to supplement the group that the Patriots have right now. And do you think that this is an immediate need, a move that we'll probably see happen this week? Uh, potentially. I mean, the Patriots could go in uh, to this week's game with the, the depth that they currently have. Uh, I thought Miles Bryant, who looks like the, the primary replacement for Jones in that slot role, thought he played pretty well uh, against the Jets uh, on Sunday. Not perfect, had a missed tackle early, uh, but he had a sack. He had a forced fumble late in the game. He played a lot of snaps, uh, also played a lot at safety since Devin McCourty didn't play in the second half of that game. Uh, I, I think he's he's a solid guy to, to have in there. I think the Patriots are definitely comfortable with him on the field. Uh, but the big wild card in this is going to be Sean Wade. Uh, he's a guy the Patriots acquired in a trade late in the preseason. Hasn't played a snap this season. Uh, has been sidelined for the last three weeks with a concussion. Hasn't practiced uh, in the last couple of weeks. I think if he can get healthy and he can get in and the Patriots are comfortable that he can contribute, maybe they can make do with the group that they currently have. But uh, but that's a tough ask for a guy who, who was a fifth round pick this year. And as I mentioned, has yet to play a regular season snap in the NFL. Definitely. Well, another big development in the cornerbacks room. I feel like there hasn't been a dull moment all season long. So I guess we'll just have to see what happens this week as the situation continues to move forward. But Zach, thank you so much for your insight on this situation. Thank you. PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier.